everyone it's time to plan for the next month i had the urge to draw these dreamy clouds that is why this is the theme for me the setup is a little bit different from the previous ones but i hope you like it and find it inspiring i didn't want to make the clouds very realistic but rather dreamy and magical i did my cover illustrations on separate pieces of watercolor paper but before I started applying the blue color for the sky I roughly sketched the clouds this was super helpful and I didn't end up using that much white paint the first layer of blue was a little bit patchy and after drying I did a second coat which made it a lot more vibrant also, I don't know if it's because of my wash paint or what, but I felt that painting in just one direction was a little bit smoother. For the clouds themselves, I painted the shadows first. I think it's super useful to have a few reference photos and explore where the light is coming from and where to place the shadows. I added some yellow next to the purple and finally I added white I painted a moon with my white Posca pen and little stars I think I went a little overboard with the stars but let me know what you think The final step was to write down May and the top right corner. I messed it up but I think I managed to fix it. I had really hard time gluing the two pages to the bullet journal and when I managed to do so when I folded the bullet journal the edges of the watercolor paper would scratch and ruin the painting so I decided to do a little experiment and place a DIY uh, washi day because I didn't have the proper one so I decided to do my own I used a regular masking tape uh, and paint over it with matching colors. At first I was super disappointed because it was super wrinkly and didn't hold up water that well but once it dried out it was super nice and it has this matte finish which is pretty cool. So it worked so I placed that um, strip of paper like DIY washi tape and in the middle so it won't ruin the painting and yeah it's not perfect but I think it looks pretty decent in the previous video I mentioned that the calendar for the month is way too small to write notes and I ended up not using it that much this time I tried to make the boxes a lot bigger so I will be able to write down in in them as you can see this time I didn't add important dates set up because it doesn't work for me and I don't write on it that much I painted clouds all around the calendar directly into the bullet journal following the same steps as 
to the cover page. I was very nervous drawing directly into the notebook, but after a while I started to enjoy the process. I felt like that something was missing. That is why I added the sun with rays shining through the clouds and to achieve that look I went over with white paint over the sun rays. The only problem I found drawing directly onto the bullet journal is that it didn't blend that well. That is why I used my watercolor pencils but without adding any water to make better transition of the colors. At this point during my setup I was quite tired, it was pretty late at night. The idea in my head was to draw flowers as clouds but it didn't turn out so I covered the page and made a new design with watercolor pencils. But again I was not proud of the final look of the page and I felt I should move on and continue with the rest of the pages the next day. The next two pages are weekly to-do list. I really want to try this setup instead of weekly log because I feel that this will be more suitable and I will use it more often. Illustration, I decided to use watercolor pencils instead of gouache because I was over the gouache paints at this point and I don't know, it, it looks a lot different from my initial drawings but I think uh, with adding the stars and little dots it keeps that dreamy look I'm going for. So let me know if you think it's a lot different or you like it that way. The next setup is very different and this is a place where I want to do color studies. I did uh, several boxes in different sizes. I want this to be a place to experiment and learn more about colors as well. And because I knew this page will be colorful at the end, I just did a little line which I blended with water and these little dots and that that's it it's a very simple page um but i can't wait to really show you how it turned out i am very looking forward to this page and finally is my habit and mood trackers for the habit tracker i kept it pretty simple with uh, small calendars with their titles I'm super excited about the mood tracker but basically I did outline of clouds for each day and I will fill with color with the corresponding mood
my voice is so tired right now because I'm recording this voice over for the second time. But anyways, that completes the setup for the month of May. Now please enjoy the flip through. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.